Today's story is Peace at Last by Jill Murphy. The hour was late. Mr. Bear was tired. Mrs. Bear was tired. And Baby Bear was tired. So they all went up to bed. Mrs. Bear was asleep. Mr. Bear didn't. Mrs. Bear began to snore. Snore, snore, went Mrs. Bear. Snore, snore, snore. Oh no, said Mr. Bear. I can't stand this. And he got up to go into Miss Baby Bear's room. Baby Bear wasn't asleep either. He was lying in his bed pretending to be an aeroplane. Meow, went Baby Bear. Meow, meow. Oh no, said Mr. Bear. I can't stand this. So he got up and went to sleep in the living room. Tick tock, tick tock, went the living room clock. Tick tock, tick tock, cuckoo, cuckoo. Oh no, said Mr. Bear. I can't stand this. So he went off to sleep in the kitchen. Drip, drip, went the leaky kitchen tap. Brrrr, went the refrigerator. Oh no, said Mr. Bear, I can't stand this. So he went off to sleep in the garden. Well, you wouldn't believe the noises in the garden at night. Twit, twoo, said the owl. Snuffle, snuffle, said the hedgehog. Meow, sang the cats on the wall. Oh no, said Mr. Bear, I can't stand this. So he went off to sleep in the car. It was cold in the car and uncomfortable, but Mr. Bear was so tired he didn't notice. He was just falling asleep when all the birds started to sing and the sun peeped in at the window. Tweet, tweet, went the birds. Shine, shine, went the sun. Oh no, said Mr. Bear, I can't stand this. So he got up and went back into the house. In the house, Baby Bear was fast asleep and Mrs. Bear had rolled over and wasn't snoring any more. Mr. Bear got into bed and closed his eyes. Ah, peace at last, he said to himself. Brrrr, went the alarm clock. Brrrr. Mrs. Bear sat up and rubbed her eyes. Good morning, dear, she said. Did you sleep well? Oh, not very well, dear said Mr. Bear. Oh, never mind, said Mrs. Bear. I'll bring you a nice cup of tea. And she did. <laughs>